Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another acrylic painting tutorial. Today I'll be working on an 11 by 14 double print and stretched canvas. I'm going to be painting a porch swing uh, overlooking a green uh, lawn and yard with some pretty ferns and a few little uh, potted plants and flowers along the edge. Uh, I'm going to be using the following colors and you can check out the full list below this video in the description box as well. I'll also have a link for um, my set of paint brushes here that I'm going to be using and demonstrating how to use in this video today. I've got titanium white, light olive green, sap green, diaphosine purple, light pastel purple, burnt umber, Mars black, and magenta. I'm going to start the painting off by just spraying a little bit of water on the canvas. This is going to help me blend my acrylics out better. Just a few little sprays and then I'll take my number 20 flat brush and just evenly cover the canvas with a little bit of this water. Be careful not to use too or apply too much water otherwise the paint won't stay on your canvas. It'll be too runny and too transparent. So you just want to dampen it slightly. The first colors I'm going to be using are sap green and a little bit of black. So I'm going to take both of these colors and I'm just going to cover the entire canvas. I just want a nice dark background to build up from. I shouldn't say we're covering the whole canvas. I just want to cover the background. So the top and then we'll come in with the side here where we're going to have a brighter shade of green for our grass. And this is all going to be bushes bushes and trees. So notice how I've applied um, a little bit more black in some areas. So it's uneven is what I'm trying to get at. So it's nice to have an uneven uh, background that way you have a little bit more light, a little bit more shadow and a little bit more depth here and there. So I'll just go almost halfway down the canvas, not quite. I'm going to take a little bit more green and black, a little bit of purple, and I'm going to apply it right in here. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out. You want to have a dry uh, mop brush. This one is from my set of brushes. It's a one inch and what you want to do is make sure you're just applying paint to it and no water at all. I'm just going to push and tap a little bit of both greens and I'm going to start at the top just to make some bushes and trees and branches You want to leave some spaces in between, of course, right? So you don't want to have it completely all in light. You need the dark base peeking through to break up those branches and show the shadows in between. I'm going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to let this area dry for a little bit. I'll come back to it. I'm going to go back over to my number 20 flat brush and we're going to cut across here and I've got a little bit of wet paint here so I'll just use that. You can use any color here on the palette just to add that line. So now we've got a triangle like this sort of. Okay, so a little triangle piece there. I'm going to get both greens 
both those on there. And we'll just start adding our grassy area. Now don't worry about this line looking a little messy. Um, we're going to be going over, we'll have some plants spilling over the edge here. This is going to be our deck area here. I'm going to add a little bit of white in with my greens here. And we'll add a little bit of this just to soften. And then I'm just going to go back here and add a little, a little strip of those greens. Just a little hint of that in there. I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to come in with my mop brush again and add some brighter highlights here on these trees in the distance. Okay, so I've got my mop brush again and I'm going to go in dry brush to my paint. A little bit of that light green. So both greens mixed with a little bit of white is really what you want. Don't overload your brush. Just a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit like this. And then I'm going to start at the top again, tap, 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 leave some spaces. Okay, so let's just stop and have a look at this for a minute. So see how we have little sections here and we haven't over tapped to make it look too solid or too busy. We can still see our light areas and our dark areas in between. That's gonna what, that's gonna be what makes your, um, landscapes and all your foliage trees look a little bit more dense and 3d okay so reloading my brush coming in again i'm going to add a little bit more white this time again not overlapping or not overloading And then we're going to leave a little bit more of the dark area visible here because it will just go more into my sap green now and keep it nice and dark. Um, so what I want to do is come in with a little bit of white, a little bit of burnt umber, and a little bit of that light purple. So we're just gonna make a soft, warm, light, light, purpley color. So again, light purple, pastel purple, or just take a bit of dioxazine and mix it with white, any shade of purple you want. A little bit of burnt umber. If you don't have burnt umber, go ahead and use um, some burnt sienna, but we're just gonna start Cleaning this line up right here. We're going to go right across and then and right here we're going to have some uh, flowers and some more bushes so we're not going to worry too much. Don't spend too much time worrying about um, the edges of this deck. And what I'm going to do, a little bit of water on my flat brush using the number 20 again. I'm going to take some black and burnt umber, a little bit of purple, any dark color that you want. So first we've got some boards that come this way. I would say a quarter of an inch apart. You want to space them. 
So they go out on the edge diagonally towards the bottom right, and then they start to turn towards us straight. And then they go out that way. Okay, right in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding a little bit of brown, black, purple, and some green. Let's get a nice deep dark color. And I'm gonna start adding the base of our little bushes or potted flowers and plants. Take a little bit of both of those greens. I'm going to use the corner of my brush like this. And just tapping where some little leaves And then I'm just going to come down here, loosen up some of that paint, kind of wiggle it around a little bit to make some shadows. And but I'm going to take a little bit of white, purple, a little bit of green. You want to have a little bit of paint and a little bit of water, but you don't want it to be your brush to be dripping. So we're going to have a few posts here. And let's just say one of the posts, let's just go ahead and add one post here, another one here. That way you can kind of line up where our shadows are a little bit better. And then we'll have our other post right here. So we'll come diagonally. Apply a shadow there. And then we're going to have a pot here, so I'm going to add the shadows. Now, just a little lumpy, sort of an oval like this. Now you can make it a little bit darker if you want. But just be careful to not add too much black. Because the paint will dry darker and you do want it to be transparent. We want to make sure that this has um, a shadow transparent feel to it. So the next area of shadows is going to be in here and all the way back here. So I'll load up my brush again, take a little bit of water, again purple, white, and green, little burnt umber, a little bit of black, and it'll start from here, and then it'll cut over right here. So you have a square right here, all in shadow. I'm going to go a little bit darker.
get a little bit more in here. And then a few little wiggles, squiggles, and lines here for some more shadows. And a big, we're gonna have a big flower bush here, another one here, and we will have another um, post right here. So let's go ahead and just mix up a little bit of white, purple, green. I'm going to go ahead and add this post back here that's going to be skinnier because it's farther away. And then this one's going to be a little wider. And then And then just a little bit more here, get a little bit wider. And then we've got another one here. That'll be the widest. I hope this is helping you guys break down the steps needed to create your own uh, summer porch painting. These are a lot of fun to do. Once you learn like the basic um, layering and steps to take, you can really incorporate a lot into these paintings. So add extra flowers, trees, maybe a pond out here instead of the grass. There's so much you can do. Okay, so what I want to do is take a little bit of yellow or uh, light olive green. I'm always doing that because you know what? It does look kind of yellow when you add. It's a yellowy green color. So I'm going to take the edge of each post and apply a highlight to them. This is going to be the inside facing the swing. You want to just have your brush loaded on the edge and then just go all the way down for some nice lighting. I think my favorite times of the day to relax on our deck or our porch is morning and evening. I think those are just the nicest times of day, aren't they? Okay, so let's mix up purple, green, white. And a little burnt sienna or burnt umber in there. I'm going to go down an angle here because this is the front of the house. So go down an angle right here. I'm going to use a little bit of water to help that paint flow. And then we'll come right down here. I'm going to cut across here. I guess a little bit of white so that it's not so see through. There will be a window inside here. And then we're going to cut right across from this one to this one, right across. Go right over the top. Gonna use a little bit of burnt umber, white in there, 
Give me that light olive green. A little bit of water to help that flow out. We're going to go across the top, the very top. <laughs> and then from right here, we're going to go down. and make an edge like this. So I just clean that line up a little bit more. I'm going to take some purple and green, a little bit of burnt umber. Two lines on an angle. And pull right across. And then bring back this side of the house again, which comes up a little higher. And on a little slant right there. Okay, and now we're going to start adding um, some purple, green, and a little bit of black for our window. I'm going to come down here, cover up that green tree forest background. And just on an angle, And then I'll come in here again, add just a little bit more. I'm going to add some green, purple, a little bit of black, and start adding the, one of the potted plants here. Okay, so bring it in, in, V it in there, and then a flat bottom, and then tap, 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 tap. We'll have some on the other side here. Slightly outline that. Have another one down there. Have some more coming down on that side. And then some right here, the base, and it's kind of nice to add the add these right here at the base because then we don't see the bottom of the post. We don't have to worry about it, and it gives everything a nice layering. another little mop brush here. Make sure it's dry. Take a little bit of each green, a little bit of white, tap, 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 and we'll be able to start coming in here and adding some highlights on our plants. And a little bit more. So if you don't have a mop brush, you can just sort of do this with, um, just tap with any brush that you have. 
you won't get the same texture depending on what you're using you'll get a different be left with a different texture So you can also gently pull and flick out like that for some fern types of flowers. And have a little wispy area over here, taller grass. I'm going to take a little bit of my purple and white on the side like this and then just add so maybe there's delphinium over on that side I can just add a few little subtle suggestions of a little bit of color here and I'm going to add some of my magenta here and I'm just going to dab it on in little, sort of little clumps, little areas like this for some flowers. So we don't have to paint every single flower petal or detail. It's how it all looks together as a whole. I'm going to take a little bit of white in there just sort of swirl it around doesn't even have to be completely mixed up so I'm applying this paint quite thick but if you want yours to be a little bit, I'm going to add some here as well, but I'm going to make them smaller. So we keep with a perspective, right? Have a little bit hanging over the edge. Now we're going to come in and start adding um, some ferns. And I'm going to be using some white. I'm going to be using this filbert brush. It's a number 14. I'm going to add the lighter ends of the ferns first. So we'll just add these little arches and then tap, tap. I hope I'm coming around here. I'll use a little bit more white because the light, I really want to get the feel of the light hitting these. You can also tap and dab like this on either side and then they just make them smaller. So a little line, leave a space and gradually make them bigger and bigger or wider and wider. This also works well with a flat brush. Okay, now I'm going to start taking more green. And we'll do the same thing. Start gradually working our way up. We go right over this dark line. See how it disappears right in that area? Because it's the same color, so you need to make it a few shades lighter so that it shows up.
And that's my brush out because I have quite a bit of paint building up in there. Just wanted to reload my sap green here, mix in a little bit more black, and we're going to come in and start layering with our, our darker ones here. So we just gradually make them darker and darker. So we have some facing us that are more in the shade and the other ones that are getting the sun on them a little bit more. And go right under here, pull and flick, tap, tap, tap. So you really want to make sure that you're pulling that paint out and getting your brush nice and flat again. And then pull those little arches. And just keep going, building and building. These are so much fun to paint. Align, tap, tap, tap. So right off the top here. And I'll have one here and then one here. So we're just gonna have these little little chains here, little figure eights. And then I'm gonna stop right about there right about here because we have to paint uh, the rest of the swing. Okay, so I'm going to be using my number 14 filbert brush. I'm going to use a little bit of white, purple, and brown. A little bit of black in there too. Just get a nice base color. And I'm going to add a line on an angle about two inches wide. Then we're gonna come like this, on another angle in, and then slightly up. So angle down, angle this way, and then slightly up. We make this one join slightly on an angle Scoop in. We're going to just pull diagonally like this all the way down. And then turn them this way. I just took a moment to dry this off a little bit. I'm going to come in with some purple, some burnt umber, a little bit of black, and I'm going to add the little arm rest over here, a little line here towards the end, and then 
on an angle. Down here. And then a little bit up and over. And we'll just add the lines in between now. And right from here on an angle down, get a little bit wider. Start here, right where it meets the end of the bench. edge and I'm just going to take some burnt umber and a little bit of white go partially over the top there I'm going to take some magenta some light olive green a little bit of burnt umber and I can sort of make somewhat of a burnt sienna, sort of terracotta color. And add a few little squares or rectangles here. Just a little bit more white and magenta. A few little dabs here. There's some flowers. Okay, one last highlight. As these are starting to fade, I want to go back and add a nice bright highlight again with my round brush. Just the ends of these ferns. And if you make them a little too thick, just add some more green or a little black. I don't know about you guys, but I can share a picture sitting on this swing right now with some pink lemonade. Watching my grandson play on the grass. My little dog Tilly at my side. As I add the last highlight on this post right here, I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you all, those of you that have ordered and purchased my paintbrushes. I think they're just about sold out now. And uh, thank you.
thank you guys so much for helping uh, me sell out those brushes. They're wonderful. You guys are going to love using them. And in the future, I plan to have my own line of paints as well. So stay tuned for that towards Christmas time, 2023. Take care, everybody. Sending you a lot of love, creativity, and healing. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye.